Hello everybody, my name is Damon, and today we have ourselves an update video. It's been a good while since we had one of these, I don't think including the 100 subscriber video. I think the last one was before I moved, I think. Uh, but today we have a few things to talk about. First things first, let's talk about our channel, our series in general, I guess. We have five series currently going up a week, and we need to address some of them. Uh, as of recording this, I've already beaten Shovel Knight, so that should be ending soon going up on the channel. I think episode 6 is going up on the channel today, and I think there's like 12, maybe, maybe less, I don't know. So I'm going to need a series to replace that soon. Uh, for Hyperdimension Neptunia, like I said in some of the episodes, I've been speeding through a second save because I'm trying to 100% the game up to that point we're at because... The game closes off certain plans and dungeons as you go through unless you unlock them in that certain chapter, which I didn't realize at the time. So we're trying to match up two different saves, and I'm pretty close at the moment. The unfortunate part... Uh, I tried running Rebirth 2 on my computer, because that's the sequel to this game, just to see how different it was from Rebirth 1 in terms of gameplay or in terms of frame rates. It's riddled with bugs, many of them including crashing continuously, or black screens randomly, and it's pretty laggy on my computer. Unfortunately, this means I don't think I'll be able to record Rebirth 2 until I get a better PC, or at the least a better video card, because my current video card uh, is integrated graphics um, from six years ago. So as you can imagine, it kind of sucks. It has like 128 dedicated... Uh, megabytes of 128 megabytes of dedicated video RAM, I think. So, I'll, I'll touch more on the idea of me getting a new PC and video card in a bit. Uh, we then have Terraria, Pokemon, and always sometimes Monsters. I'm going to finish Pokemon Black 2, even though not many people watch it, because it's just a, it's a story game, it's not too long until it's over, so it shouldn't be that bad. With Terraria and always sometimes Monsters, I'm considering just canceling those series as soon as I finish uploading all the recorded parts so far. The main reason is, with a game like Shovel Knight, or HD Neptunia, or Pokemon, I can record about an hour and a half of footage, and post about an hour and a half of content, not including grinding or off-screen things. With Terraria, and always sometimes monsters, I have to cut so much out because it seems like so little happens that I talk so infrequently that I could record an hour and a half and get 20 minutes. It takes up way too much time of my recording when I could be recording content that you guys will see continuously and that you guys want to see continuously. However, I do like to hear your guys' opinions on these things, so let me know in the comments if you would care to see them go. More importantly, more importantly, excuse me, that brings me to the next topic, future games. I want to know what you guys want to see on the channel. It doesn't matter if it's a game that I can or cannot record. I'll add it to a list of games that I need to get around to playing in the future. For example, I really want to record Nair and Shadow of the Colossus at some point, and Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, because I really like those games. I don't own a PS3 capture card, I don't own a Wii U capture card, but in the future, I might. Who knows what things will happen. So let me know what games are, what some of your favorites are in terms of games, and that you guys would love to see me play. And I will try to get around some kind of way to recording them. I also think that my schedule would work better if I just uploaded four series at once. Five at an absolute max, but it kind of gets really hectic. Editing five different series, trying to remember what I did last episode, which I have a hard enough time doing anyways, and my computer's hard drive kind of fills up every single day. I have a terabyte of hard drive. Every day I delete like uh, 200 to 300 gigabytes, and by the next day it's it's already filled up, so uh, we kind of need to fix that. I think that's it uh, for my series in general though. Next, I want to talk about a, com not really completely different, but sort of related topic, live streaming. Some of you may know what it is, but basically, live streaming is where I would play a game, and you guys would see it live, and would be able to comment, help me out, etc. in real time. Well, not real time, there's a delay, like I think 30 seconds on Twitch, I don't know what YouTube's delay is, maybe it's better. I'm not entirely solid on whether to do this or not, or where to do it for that matter. 
now that YouTube has YouTube Gaming, which is supposed to be better live streaming, and Twitch is implementing direct uploads as of next year, I feel there's going to be some sort of civil war with content creators, Twitch versus YouTube, even more than usual, where it's just, okay, well, YouTube uploads things, Twitch streams things, people do their own thing. Now it's YouTube does both, Twitch does both. Which are you going to choose? Pick a side. I mean, I guess some people will still be doing either or. But if I were to stream, I'd probably only do it for one to two hours at a time at max. Because people in my house like to wake up at completely random times and it kind of ruins the videos. As you can tell when I usually say, uh, sorry, interruptions, and then, you know, we make a jump cut. Can't really do that live. I'd probably just sit there in silence for a couple minutes. Um, and I'd likely only stream games on the channel, meaning games that I'm currently uploading. Like, say I was uploading, or I was recording, I guess, uh, Hyperdimension Neptune Your Rebirth 2. I would livestream that to a couple lucky people, the raw content to lucky people, who would come in and see it. The stream would go down, it would never be, it would never be archived, and then I would edit the videos I recorded and upload them to everyone else. Uh, sort of like a stream play, I guess, if you've, ever, if you've ever heard of that term. I think it'd be an interesting thing to do, but again, you guys can tell me how you'd feel about that. I don't even know what day I would do that, exactly. That'd be very odd. Uh, I think the last thing I want to talk about is a thing called monetization. For those of you that don't know, YouTubers can make money from their videos, but only through certain means. Besides sponsorships and things like that, people can put ads on their videos. As you've noticed, or you've probably noticed, not a single video of mine has an ad at the moment. I don't think so. Well, maybe that one Legend of Zelda Wind Waker video does because Nintendo claimed my video, which, you know, fine, whatever, they can get the money from that if I have any ads on that. Uh, but I don't have it on any other video. Meaning, I don't get paid a fraction of a cent for the trash and awful work that I do. Which, maybe I shouldn't be paid for awful and trash work, but regardless, I don't. And I want to ask you guys if you would be okay with me putting ads on my videos. I know a lot of people hate ads, and many people say YouTubers don't deserve ads because they are entitled to watch the YouTubers' videos. They're already spending their time watching the videos. They shouldn't have to waste their time watching stupid advertisements. That's a very awful way of thinking, but I'll accept it. People also tell YouTubers it doesn't matter because I'll just use ad block lols, which... If you don't know what adblock is, it does what it says. It blocks all ads on the internet, or most of them anyways, so that you aren't distracted or annoyed by any of them, and you can live your day, you know, enjoyment, and, you know, peacefully, and all the people who run those sites or upload that content don't get paid anything. But, it doesn't matter to you. That's fine. I will admit, I use adblock sometimes. I don't use it on, on, uh, on YouTube, though, because YouTubers need to get paid. I only use it for certain websites that have advertisements that block your screen. That's kind of annoying. But there's another option, however, if you people really, really don't like ads, but I guess I can use both of these options at the same time, and that is donations. I'm not exactly the most popular person, if you couldn't tell. I have around 107 subscribers, meaning I've made about seven in the process of a month or two, I believe, since I uploaded that 100 sub video. That's not really good. I don't actually know when I uploaded that video, but, uh, it's been a little while. But, that doesn't mean there aren't some people who enjoy this content. Hell, somebody donate, donated always sometimes monsters to me. Sorry, by the way, that I might be canceling it as a series. I'll probably play it off screen to, you know, finish it, whatever. But, for those people that really enjoy my content and want to support me, I could put two options on my channel. First of all, I could implement the YouTube tip jar, which adds a button to my channel layout where viewers from the USA, Mexico, I think, Japan, and I think a fourth country, I don't remember the name, uh, I don't remember the name, I don't remember which country, can donate money to help fund the channel. I don't know why it's only those four countries, but that's how it is. The other option is a PayPal donate button that I could put in the top links of my YouTube page. You see where I have Twitter and Google Plus and the stream, not the stream, the, the upload schedule for each week, etc, etc, and I could put that in the top link, where people from all around the world, I think, can donate as much as they want to, I think. <sighs> but let me know what you think about all these options, ads, and donations, whether you guys would 
agree with them, or you would not want them on the channel, or you don't want me to get paid because you think I am a sleazy motherfucker, whatever you think, just say it. One more thing I want to ask you guys, though, before we end off, is what do you really think about my channel? Be as harsh as you can be. I want, I want you guys to give me at least one or two things that you think I should try and improve on. Is my commentary lacking? It probably is. Do the games I play just plain old suck? They probably do, because I can't record that much. Or do, do I just suck in general, etc.? And then again, uh, let me know what you guys want to see on the channel, game-wise or otherwise. What do you like on the channel that has made you subscribe that you want me to do more of? But I think that'll be all for today, so as usual, let me know what you guys think about all the things I've said in this video in the comments. I do read them all, you know. Even if I don't respond to them all, I usually do read them all. And if you have friends that watch YouTubers, hey, maybe show them to my channel. Help me get a little bit bigger. Uh, I don't know. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you all in the next video, update video, whatever the next video will be. Goodbye.